Well, hello there. How are you doing? Glad you asked. We'll talk about that in just a second. Anyway, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, in my home base, my 26-foot RV, which I live in full-time, da-da-da-da-da. I go camping in, in my car now. I used I did 20 years of traveling around in an RV. So if you're interested in RVing or Prius car camping, check out my playlist on my channel homepage. Got to get that all right. Because sometimes I misspeak. My words get tangled up. I'm 71 years old. and But anyway, it's uh, in the afternoon, February the 4th. 2017. I'll post this video tomorrow. But anyway, I'm just going down comments and, and the ones that I want to, I'll just do a video. And this will be a short one. Anyway, I did a video about motorhomes earlier today and posted it. And it was like, you know, class B, B plus, and C. Because I have some interest, possibly, in the future of getting a class C or B plus. And, uh, no longer travel and go camping in my Prius because you know I'm you know I'm 71 as I get older I might want to get get some more uh, conveniences so to speak but anyway of course I'd have to give up MPG and all that stuff uh, having said that this comment says he says what about a van Rusty I think that's where I'm headed the cargo passenger van. Would love to hear your opinions on it, actually. Well, I can give you my opinion on it right now. No charge and no more commercial. Except for one, maybe. What about a van? Okay, I've looked at vans. I've looked at the little vans and the big vans. The, the Transit Connect, the Nissan something, and the big Dodge vans, the high box and the no box, the low box. I have looked at them. I have actually done videos about them. I have gone inside of them. And if it's not a high box van, I cannot stand up. That's an issue. Can I stand up in my Prius? No, I can't. But it also gets 50 miles to gallon, and you can run the air conditioner and the heater at night, and it'll cut on automatically when the batteries get low. Okay? So I wouldn't need any of that kind of stuff. But in a van, Here's the advantage of a van over a Class C, which already has all the stuff in it, or a B or a B plus or any of the other motorhome type stuff. The advantage of a van build, where you convert a van, is you put in just the stuff that you want. Okay. In other words, you want to go to solar, do it. You want a certain type of heat, do it. You want a refrigerator or Cooler, 12 volt, you can do it. Uh, you want a uh, lug luggable loo toilet that fits on a five gallon can? Not a problem. Uh, you want to drill a hole in it and make you a shower that runs out on the ground? Do it. You want a fantastic fan that fits up in the top and cools and blows and does all kind of cute stuff? You can do it. And once you've done all that stuff and made you a little bed and a little kitchen and whatever you want to do, it's just the way you want it. And it can be done fairly inexpensively. The first step you got to get by, though, is getting the van. Okay? And, you know, for me, I need something dependable because I don't want to be in the boonies broke down in, in, a, in an old car or old vehicle. Okay? And that's about all I can afford. And so for me to get a van, high box, and build it out with the stuff you, I would want. Uh, I could buy a used Class C, or not a B plus because they're a little pricey. But I could get a used uh, Class C. It'd be an old junker, but you know. And that's another thought. You again, but the downside of a Class C is the miles per gallon. Okay. And somebody said something about me comparing apples and oranges. I do that, and I like it. Okay, you know how to compare an apple with an orange? First of all, you observe the color. An apple is usually reddish in color, and an orange is what? Orange. So is that comparing apples and oranges? Of course it is. So anyway, having said that, what about a van? 
Uh, I think a van is great if you are handy with tools and you want to do the build out. I think it's, I mean, I love the fact that you can add the stuff you want because that's the way I do in my Prius. When I go camping in my Toyota Prius, I don't have a lot of stuff. When I park and camp, I'm done. I don't have to put anything up, down, sideways, go outside and put up poles and take poles down. No, no, no. I don't have any of that stuff. I put a folding chair out on the ground, put a rock in it so the wind doesn't blow it away, and I'm set up. That's it. Other than I level my Prius. I do get my Prius reasonably level. If it's a half a bubble off, like you know who, then it's okay. Because, you know, when I'm half a bubble off and the car is a half a bubble off, together we're probably perfectly level. You see what I mean? You got to be able to see that point because a point in every direction is a perfect circle. Everybody knows that. But anyway, so vans are thumbs up to vans. Converting a van, go for it. As far as cost, whatever you want to spend. You can get an old, really used old van and do a lot of maintenance on it and whatever you want to do. Yeah, you can get by cheap. You know what I mean? But I, I'm for me right now, thank you for the comment. What about a van for me? No, not now. Not now, no. No, I couldn't replace my Prius with a converted band. It would not work for me because I am spoiled. I like that 50 miles per gallon. I do. And I like the simplicity of the way I've got it set up. So I may never change. I may just stay with what I've got. And I probably will. I know I will for at least three or four years. It's not, nothing's changing for that period. Even if I won the lottery. Well, I don't want to say that. I mean, if I won the lottery, well, come on, guys, cut me some slack. I mean, would I buy a Prevost? No. 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 Prevost. <laughs> anyway, having said that, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA Made when you can. Take deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. It relieves stress. It works. I ain't kidding. You'll feel better. Try it a few times a day. And uh, stretch, 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 walk, 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 and all that stuff. And we're going to go camping in March, I think, somewhere. It depends on the weather. Depends on the weather. But anyway, thumbs up, guys. Just wanted to touch on these uh, comments and make a couple of videos because uh, I got to get them while they're hot <laughs> because I don't have any ideas. Thank you guys for your support. Have a good day. Bye-bye.